So in Linux, we create multiple names that all point to the same file. And we call these names links. And they, in a way, they're files. They're not, they're, called, they're links. Um, but any change you make in those, those links or the source file that you have linked those links to will propagate out to its other links. And there's two types of links in Linux. We have hard and soft links. An example of what a link might look like on every system, pretty much guaranteed, if you were to cd into etsy pam dot d, right, do an ls, um, I can see soft links here, they're the ones in the blue, but if I do an ls dash l on say password off here, I can see that it is a soft link uh, to etsy auth select password off. Any change I make in password off or in either either here or in that Etsy auth select directory will result in a change showing up in the other file. Um, so if I go back here um, to my root home directory, right? You see I have file one. If I do an ls l on file one, you'll see there's a number here. This number here is the number of hard links. Each file initially starts with one hard link, right? And if I want to make uh, a new link, right? A hard link, that is. It's as simple as using the ln command. And I like to think of it as link new, ln, right? And then my source file, right? Whatever I'm trying to link everything to. So here I have an existing file, file one. And I want to create file two as a link, right? So file two will essentially be a copy of file one. Any changes made in file one will show up in file two. Any changes in file two will show up in file one. Well, but before I do that, let me let me let me show you what's in file one. We have hello, all right? Then we're gonna make a hard link. So ln file one, the source file, and then file two. All right, do an ls a file two now. And if I cat file two, all right, it says hello. If I, let's put something else in uh, file two here, right? Uh, let's put world. And then if I cat file one, world is there now. So any change you make in the link or the source file will show up in the other one. If you delete a hard link, right? If you delete one file, the other files are gonna stay on the system and available as long as one hard link still exists. So if I remove file two from the system, file one is still there. There are limitations to hard links that you, you don't get with soft links, right? You can't um, make links to special files. You can't link directories. You can only do regular files. Uh, and files have to be on the same file system, right? If I did a DF here, um, I have these different file systems here. I've got dev, got run, right? I couldn't link a file that was in uh, slash run to a file that was in slash dev. But with a soft link, I could. And with a soft link, I can link directories and I can also link special files, right? So if we wanted to create a soft link, right, we saw how to create a hard link. Um, it's gonna be the same ln command, but we're gonna do a dash s for soft, right? Sometimes a soft link is also called a symbolic link. It's a special file that points to an existing file or directory. Um, and you can tell a soft link apart from a hard link. If I do, for example, let me, let me look at the, uh, let me make a hard link back here, right? File one to file two. I'll do an ls l oh, for file one, All right? Now look closely right here. You're gonna see in this permissions where I have a dash. Now I know where there's an existing uh, soft link. So let's do etc.pam.d. Password off. 
So here I have a hard link with a dash at the beginning of the permissions. And here I have a soft link with an L at the beginning of the permissions. And that's how you tell the two apart. Um, because you're not always going to have the fancy uh, colors to tell you to tell apart from hard and soft links. Um, so real quick, let's see uh, if I were to just let's see the over to Etsy ham .d, all right Maybe I want to unlink password off here. So now if I do an ls shell on um, password off. It is gone. Uh, and if I wanted to recreate that link, so in a sense, essence, create a soft link, right? I'm going to do an lsh, l and a ln dash s. I'm sorry, I, I can't talk today. Uh, and then I'm going to do uh, etsy auth select uh, password auth. And then my link is going to be here in this directory, so I'm going to do password off. And now password off should be back, right, as a link in this directory. And I've got a soft link. Um, so again, just to recap, ln source file link name for a hard link. And for a soft link, ln dash s, the source file, and then the link. And then next next video I'll probably go over a like practical example of why you might want to use a link uh, and change links, right?